afternoon people welcome back to the channel it's been a while it has been a while but today me and simon are off on a camping trip in the van with the dogs we have a new a new doggy oh 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 there's a little peeper there i'll show you it in the video later on not quite sure where we're going to go yet i think in the forest of dean but we're going to try like um free camping Stealth camping in the van, so I'm um, not sure how that's going to go, but it's going to take you along for the ride. Hope you enjoy it. Oh, before I forget, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel. Okay. Our first stop, it is the home of the roast. Can't wait when I tell you, can't read for months. I can't wait. So we've ended up at Forest of Dean. We're parked outside Bracelands at the moment, but it's so expensive in there. We want to do free camping, but Simon is, excuse my grey ears, scared that someone's going to come and tell us off. We found a few things on Park for Night. They've got really good reviews. Um, so I'm just trying to encourage him to try it, but he's a bit scared. So uh, it's our new addition there. I'll introduce you soon. Um, yeah, so we're just going to take a dog for a walk, go to the supermarket, and hopefully, when it's a bit darker, it'll be a bit more comfortable about going back. But I mean, like I said, apart from night, it's all like, they've always got good reviews on the ones we've looked at. Um, but I think it's always scary the first time that you that you do it, so yeah, we'll see. You'll find out later if we managed, if I managed to persuade him or not. Okay, so we found a few, we stopped at a few spots. We weren't quite sure. No, we've ended up here. Mm. Molly, are you doing it again? Molly's getting muddy feet, she keeps going in the swamps. Um, Yeah, so we've ended up here in this little lay by for now. We're going to stop and have a cup of tea and then um, see if anyone says anything. But it's on the park for night, so people have obviously stayed here before. So we're going to give this one a go. This isn't the one we first went to, but yeah. Well, we'll let you know how we got on. Okay. Simon didn't make it. <laughs> we had to come back to the original spot, which is this one. Which is very pretty. There's one other van here. Just there. And we're parked over there. This one's on park for night too. This is the first one we came to. Good morning. Well, we made it through the night. <laughs> we stayed at Dry Brook, I think it was called. I'll put the what three words down underneath. <coughs> well, like you'll probably see it here or it'll be in the description. Um, yeah, it was quiet. It was alright. You alright, Simon? Yeah. <laughs> so now we're heading to Simon's Yacht just to go for a walk with the dogs. I did want to go to the waterfalls, which are a bit further away, but I'm not sure if it's too far. But we're going to take the dogs for a walk as soon as you're and then we're going to decide after that. So I'm going to take you along.
This is at uh, Simon Jack Rock, that's where we are now, at the viewpoint. Down towards the river now. It says it's 500 metres. So I think I can manage that. Looks lovely down there. Okay, we made it down to the bottom. Oh, now we're going back upwards, which can't be good. Half a mile of hill. Shouldn't have worn my jumper. The lift gets the good end of the deal because she gets to be carried because she's only little. Hopefully, Molly's gonna pull me. But I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, I survived the hike up the mountain. Time now to carry Lilith. <laughs> and now we're heading to Monmouth. My brother said it's nice there, so we're going to go and have a little look around there. And maybe get some lunch. And then, we're not really sure where we're going after that, but... Wherever we go, wherever we go you'll be coming, so we'll find out. Okay, see you soon. end up stopping in Monmouth because it's absolutely packed so we've headed to a camping spot which is I'm not quite sure where but let me show you all right this is what it looks like on a reservoir I think we're somewhere near Abergavenny I think I'm not sure yeah so hopefully we'll be able to stay here it's got all it's on park for night it's had all good reviews so Looks beautiful. We've just gone for a bike ride, so I've got the dogs here. He's going to suss out the area, see if there's anywhere we can take them for a walk. Excuse my hair. We also met, I don't know if you can see here, Wandering Home, who we watched on YouTube. So that was lovely. We had a little chat with them. Really nice to meet them. So, so lovely. Such a lovely couple. Um, I always say it's weird to see to meet people that you've seen on the TV. So, uh, yeah, so they're just in front. So that was really nice. Okay, we're just out for a little walk. This sorry to go at this end of the reservoir. Um, seen Josh and Charlie from Wandering Home, and they're walking up towards the other way, looking for the uh, waterfalls. Um, we just want oh, we can't walk too far because of the little dog. So we're just gonna have a little walk up here and see what's about. So quiet. All right, Mom. Okay, so this place is called Talibont Forest. I think that's how you pronounce it. So we're staying somewhere around Talibont Reservoir. And then they've got like a forest walk that goes all the way around. You can go either this side of the reservoir or the other side. I think the other side is the side with the waterfalls, which is where the other guys have gone. But this side is my side because it's nice and flat. After this morning, no hills. It's absolutely perfect for me. Ain't it, Mom? Come on then. Way up here. Ready? Absolutely beautiful it is. Um, but Lilith has actually had enough. This is Lilith, by the way. She's 12 weeks old. Uh, yeah, she's had enough. And according to Google Maps, you have to walk miles to get across there. Because I can't see any way across there from here. 
So we're just going to turn around and uh, go back down because Lilith is, she's already been carried halfway up the path. So uh, <laughs> I'm sure we'll have to carry her back down. But I think Simon's going to come out tomorrow on his bike and uh, ride around it so we can see how far it is. But it is absolutely beautiful, so it's nice to be out. And the good thing about this trail is Ready. it's not uphill, like it's gravel. Ready. And there's no like steep hills like this morning. So it's quite an easy walk really if you've got the time to do it and obviously you know where you're going. But like I say, if you can go on his bike tomorrow and find out where it um how far it goes up before you have to come cut across. It is Saturday today. Was you going home later? We wait. What's this place called? We stopped at this place called Talibont. I think I mentioned it in the last bit actually. I think it's called Talibont Reservoir or something, something like that. I think I put it said it in the last video anyway. In the park for night, along this little bit of this little road, it's got like these little park up places. You can stop along the way. And a lovely view. It's currently about quarter to seven in the morning. It's so quiet. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so not sure what we've got planned today yet. Obviously heading home later on, but who knows. We were camped last night. We just stopped at this little spot here. There's a really lovely view. If you drive up over the, I don't know what you call it, the glen, is it? Or there's just the views are absolutely beautiful. I was just gonna have a little walk down here. Let's see if we can see off the end. As always, the camera will never do it justice as to how lovely it is, but it's so quiet. In the camp, where there's loads of tadpoles. Again. We didn't feel much earlier on, we just went to, um, I can't remember where we went. Mm. Mm. 
Can we do? Can't remember. We've got McDonald's for breakfast. Oh, then we went to meet Simon's sister and brother-in-law. And they just stayed for a little bit. We sat around uh, Simon's Jat East for a little bit. And now we've just come to uh, the Go Ape Mallard's Pike, I think it's called. To take the dogs for a walk before you head home. So that's where we are now. So yeah, we're just going to go for a little walk around the lake now. It's going to help you take Molly for a walk. Okay, we had a lovely walk around the lake and my bike, a little picnic, and uh, we are just heading home now. Hopefully, the roads have cleared. It looks like they have because there was a bit of traffic in Bristol, but hopefully, you've missed that. So, we're going to end the vlog here. Thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully it won't be too long before we're off on another little adventure somewhere. My little chauffeur. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you again soon, guys. <laughs>